Morning YouTube world, we got a cool guitar in today for a setup and I just wanted to do a quick review. We're reviewing two different things, a new set of Ernie Ball aluminum bronze strings and this beautiful Martin 00018 Norman Blake signature model. So let's check it out. I love that this one has the old Martin uh, logo rather than the new stuff. Absolutely beautiful, nice lacquer, uh, rosewood top veneer, uh, nice keystone. Uh, let's see if you can see that. I like the layer lines. It kind of has an old celluloid vibe. Well cut nut, obviously great fretwork. This is a ridiculously nice top, really even grain. It's really bright. Um, you can see it's got a high quality, kind of pretty tall um, tortoise shell pickguard, but as always, you look through those lighter spots in the tortoise shell and you can actually see the wood. So that's a, a good sign. Pretty simple rosette, but you can tell that it's actually inlaid, not a sticker, which is kind of obvious to um, expect out of a guitar from this quality and this, uh, this cost. The inlays are very, I, I forgot the name for this, but it's some kind of star. It's actually smaller than I would expect. It's pretty classy, um, but it does look to be abalone. And I'm not sure if I like the finish over it. It's, it's like a satin finish that makes it kind of disappear a little bit. But um, let's see what else. No volute on this one. Really nice old Waverly tuners. Stamped at the top. Nazareth. Pretty cool. And again, a pretty plain back. Single center stripe of ebony. Single black. Uh, it might not be ebony, actually. That might be just be black plastic. Um, black plastic end cap. Um, and it looks like tortoise shell binding, but it's interesting. So I don't know. Um, so this looks like tortoise shell right there. Yeah, I guess it is tortoise shell. It's just a, a kind of inconsistent piece. So if you look at it, it looks like black binding until you get these couple little bright spots. Um, I really like the bridge. It's kind of one of their thinner bridges, but it has that cool pyramid at the edges. Um, and yeah, great guitar, no finish defects. I mean, um, you know, I would expect that from, uh, expect that quality from Martin, but very cool guitar. Let's see how it sounds. Okay. So this is a really light, but super responsive, uh, guitar. The neck is, is pretty short. So it's a 12 fret at the, the body, um, which means that it feels kind of like a parlor guitar almost. Um, but it's really easy to play. Body's nice and narrow. So it's easy to get your arms around it. Um, very kind of reasonably thin on this side too. So you're not kind of stuck out the front. Um, yeah, the neck, it's got a very slight V to it. So, um, yeah, it's not like over the top. If you're used to playing a normal guitar, it's not, not going to throw you for, for too much of a loop. Um, neck is very, uh, consistent, thin this way. Um, gets a little bit wider at the 12th, but not drastic. The down at the nut, it is on the, the wider side, kind of wider side. It feels somewhere between like a classical and traditional dreadnought hybrid. Um, so if you have large hands or, or uh, big fingers, that might be a really good thing for you. Um, yeah, so let's play a little bit. These are amazing strings. Um, I'm gonna have to do a lot more tests just to verify I mean, this is a ridiculously great guitar too, so it's it's hard to totally decouple those those opinions. But um, there's a very unique character to these strings. They're very warm, but they're very um, very defined in their attack. On the package, they say that they're built for projection. And I've never really thought about it, but aluminum has that kind of resonant tone. Even when you're tapping on it, you can always hear it. So it kind of makes sense that it would be kind of musical. Yeah, this is an amazing guitar, huge uh, resonant tone. It doesn't have a boomy low end, but it is, it's very tight, manageable. Um, and it's there, it's, it's not thin at all. Cool, yeah, very balanced. Um, big fan of the guitar, check them out. Um, and I would highly recommend 
just grabbing a set of those aluminum bronze strings. They're, they're really cool. Uh, I enjoy the tone. And uh, yeah, let me know what guitar I should check out next. We'll see you guys soon.